everyone. It's your girl, Just Be Nashe. What's up? What's up? What's good, everybody? I know it's been a minute. It's been a minute. I'm not even gonna waste too much time and talk about all the stuff and all the things, okay? What I will say is, baby boy is finally one years old. Hello. I finally got a bunch of housework, renovations, and DIYs. I finally got that stuff out the way, most of it. And it's summertime. It's summertime. So it's been a lot going on in my life, and I really could not post, talk to you, create video. I thought about you a whole lot though. I certainly thought about you a whole lot. I have told myself I'm not purchasing any more bags. I've purchased it. I've purchased a whole lot of bags. So it's been some things going on and I'm here to share with you today the bag that I've been wearing for about a month, just under a month. It's really time to clear her out, clean her up and put her away. She's done what she needs to do. And with that all being said, say hello to my little friend. All right. This, my dear, is a sack tote. It's beautiful and blue. This is really like my summertime favorite color, like one of my favorite summertime colors. It just pops. I find that I am picking this color pretty much all through the year. I'll get like a shirt, a sweater, you know, a purse, uh, uh, some towels, um, some plates. This color just calls me. It doesn't matter what it is. So, yeah, I have hints of my love of this color pretty much all throughout my house, pretty much all the time. type of situation and of course naturally we bag lovers we're, we are gonna go to the bag section every trip every visit to these stores Marshalls TJ Maxx we're headed to the bag section because we're gonna find a goodie so I've always loved the sack company and this bag just spoke to me because like I just told you one of my favorite colors and it is just a simple no fuss really fun tote slash hobo bag and I've enjoyed it so much um I really 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 started out very neat everything was proper and in place um but after a month of carrying her it's a disaster and most of the thing it, it, it's just a disaster so I'm ready to get out I'm ready to jump into some of these summer bags that I have purchased shout outs to all of you ladies making these bag videos and tempting me the eye candy that you all are sharing please keep it coming please keep it coming anyways girl so let's get into this bag I'm gonna go through this no rhyme no reason we're just homegirls we're chilling we're talking about the disaster that's happened in this purse okay okay first up the current book that i have in my bag a zora neil hurston book it is called Tell My Horse. It is about her magical, mystical experiences when she visited Haiti and Jamaica back in the 30s. I have my trusty notepad. Um, this one kind of just happened to find its way into my purse one day, and it's just pretty random. My pen pouch. Nothing exciting in here other than this new little purse I picked up. And I think this was like at a at the dollar section in Walmart. And then everything else is pretty boring. Oh, I had to go into the office yesterday. 
And that was interesting after almost two and a half years of not being in the office, we went in. So they gave us little treats. So this is my little treat bag. Yeah, my work badges are here. I wasn't sure which one would work after two years. <laughs> so, And then we have Starlight. Is it Starlight? It's Starlit Night. Um, I'm just not really, really getting into the whole Bath and Body Works scents and body creams and fragrances and all that. I was really, 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 really not into it until you ladies, until you ladies, until you ladies and my daughter actually started talking about it all the time. And I'm like, I got to check it out. And since then I have found some scents that I like and Starlit Night is pretty cool. I've been working on layering scents. That's the new little thing I've been doing and I'm enjoying it. So um, Wicked Vanilla Woods is also in my purse. We have some hand sanitizer, my day journal, my bullet journal, my day book, whatever. This keeps me in control of my day. It's and falling apart, which I'm happy about because soon I'll be able to jump right into a new one. So pretty exciting for book lovers and journal lovers and paper lovers. Getting a new notebook is like, there's not a whole lot that, that that can top that. Not not a whole lot. All right. I've been um, playing around with some fiction and character development. Anything that is associated with my writing, um, I like to put in here at the moment. I'm using this one to document those types of things. Uh, what is this? The new quality expectation list that they gave us at the work meeting. I sense a theme here. I sense a theme here. Here is another pen. And this one also has several different colors of ink. All right. Um, something I must have gotten in the mail because here's some of the bubble wrap. Be honest, do you play with bubble wrap? I certainly, certainly play with bubble wrap. Ah, some, ooh, I had a York peppermint patty. And uh, yeah, the wrapper went in my purse. I don't like to litter, so sometimes I will put my trash in my purse, okay? More trash, this is, uh, this is a, what was in here? Probably some kind of plastic utensil. All right, moving right along. Oh yes, yeah. so I have started keeping some of my crystals with me. So this is my amethyst. She's so beautiful. Uh, we have some random stuff in the back pockets. Now, just so you know, it does have some organization in here. We have two back pockets, as you can see. Um, then we have a zippered pocket with a, like a little slip pocket behind the zippered pouch, actually. Zippered pouch and then a little slip in slit behind the pouch. Does that make sense? Okay. So some organization in there, um, in the random pockets, all we have is, we have a, a, a mirror, okay, here we go again, some of the colors that I'm loving, all right, we have our lip liner, we have a Sephora mascara, which I really like. Oh my God, oh my God. Then we have a pen, Woo. another pen, we have a highlighter. I have some e.l.f. lip gloss that I'm trying to finish up, okay? I'm trying to be good about using what I have, finishing what I have. That is the vibe I'm on right now, so this lip gloss, yeah. Probably gonna be my purse and next few purses until it's done. Okay, so that's all the randoms that half of these things should be in my 
pen pouch, you know, makeup bag, that sort of thing. And that's what happens after you wear a bag for a month and you're just like on the go, in and out, and you're living in this one bag. You end up with a bunch of stuff randomly tossed in your bag, randomly placed in your bag, and it leads to disaster. Moving right along. What can I say about this? Out of this entire bag, out of this entire hobo, tote, the sack bag, this right here is my favorite, is my favorite item. I'm gonna call it a Kipling pouch. There's an actual name for this and I'm forgetting. She opens so wide, there are hidden pockets in here and a zippered middle part. It's just, it's just all around dope. I'm so tempted in getting more of her. Look at her booty like, okay, just look at her. Some more things in this baby. We have a scrunchie. We have a sanitary napkin. What do we have? Ooh, baby. We have crushed red pepper. What else is in here? Okay, so we just have some of this, some of the little drying packets that are in purses. That's what's left in there. I believe the contents of this large mouth is, nope, I thought it was empty. It's not, we just, I have stuff in the back pocket. I have a used Walmart gift card. Fenty lip gloss. Now, mind you, again, the randomness. You just saw some lip gloss in the inside of. Ah, more lip gloss, more randomness. Okay. This, my dear, is the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm in the color Sweet Violet. Okay, moving on. Y'all, I don't know what's going on because all I'm pulling out right now is lip product after lip product. So, like I told you, it's been almost a month. Obviously, I've worn different lip colors and obviously, they've all decided to live in my purse. Here's another lip color. This one is another like pearly pinky and this is not supposed to be in my bag, this Revlon lip color. Okay, girl, what y'all think I feel next? What do you think I feel next? What do you think I feel next after this month? Yo, my lips must have been popping all month. <laughs> we have another lip product. Now, mind you, this is beautiful packaging. Look at the packaging. Do y'all see that? Ooh la la, I love anything with a pretty rose print. I never took it out of my purse after I bought it. It's been a whole messy month. It's been a messy month. And I do believe that we have something else. <laughs> All right, so we have some random wrapping from like candy or something. All right, and then we have the actual tag that was on the bag. So, I really like it. Like I said, I really enjoy carefree. Unless I'm trying to be fussy, I'm not trying to invite fuss into my life. I love that it has no hardware, has no feet, very minimal, very simplistic, grab and go type stuff. Y'all know how much I talk about the grab and go, the grab and go. So let's give her the elbow test. When I have things in her, she is easy to grab and just pull onto me. Um, she has this cute little tassel right here. Okay, leather tassel. The decorative stitching around her, very nice. Who doesn't like decorative stitching? Um, of course, we are never upset about an outside pocket. Um, and I believe that's the back of the bag. The front is plain. It is empty. I'm definitely going to be using this bag on and off throughout the course of the summer. I just wanted to stop in and just like empty her out, deal with the mess on camera with you all, stop and say hey, that sort of thing.
Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for chilling with your girl, checking out what I had in my messy hobo. And I need to figure out what exactly I'm hopping into next. Tell me what you think about this bag. If you haven't already, please hit like, please subscribe. I am in building mode, so I wanna build up this channel. I wanna share more with you. I wanna connect more with you. I'm so grateful for this bag community, quite honestly. I don't know a whole lot of people who get why I like purses and the fact that there's a whole community of women and men who understand. So I appreciate you guys. Thank y'all so much. Y'all have changed the game with this bad community. You are showing up and showing out and this is why we do it. This is why we do it. This is why we do it. That's for Fly Boo. And Fly Boo, thank you so much, okay, for being you, for showing up, showing the heck out, pulling some of us out of our little timid spaces and helping us to express ourselves more. There's a few of y'all that's really out here changing how a woman views her purse. And I'm so grateful and I'm so honored that I have a seat at this table. Thank y'all for letting me share. Peace and love, y'all. Just be.